To start with the gauge chart, we're going to focus on immediately working with Chart.js. So I will skip the fancy background here, while it's nothing fancy, just basic bootstrap design. And if, you, if you've seen some of my courses, I always use this color at the back, indicating how hard it is. Yellow stands for an intermediate uh, version, so it's quite decent to use, but uh, still requires some certain basic knowledge of Chart.js. So let's start create a chart and what we need is we need to create the pie chart or more specifically the donut chart. So we go here to chart.js, all right, we go to this one, the documentation of chart.js. And all we need is we have to go here down and search for our donut and pie chart. All right, so what we need is we need this and how it should look like eventually is like a half version and then we have multiple colors within the half version. So let's start and look at that. So you can see here all these commands here. And probably the best is to immediately go to the getting started part. We just copy the basics. All right, so what we need is we need a canvas. And what I wanna do is the following. We're going to put in here, this is a bootstrap card, and we're going to add up here our canvas that eventually here we'll see our gauge chart. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to copy this piece of code, which indicates this is a canvas tag and the reason why Chart.js works with canvas. So canvas tag is very important. So what we do here, we will just add up here our chart and I had some weird text apparently in there that shouldn't be there. So let's save that. And once we save that, we're not yet done, of course. We need to put in our script here. All right, so you can see here, what is the script here, the Chart.js library says it 2.4.0. This is a really old version, or not that old, but we are already now at 2.7.3. So what we can do is, now we're, well, all we have to do is to copy this and just readjust these here. All right, let's copy this here. And once we copy that, and if you're not sure about that, I'll show you here as well. I'm also keeping it up to date with the Chart.js CDN, and you can see here the, the latest documentations here, and that's, that one. All right. And apparently I already saved them in here, but if you don't have it, please put it here. Very important, make sure that your, your canvas ID is above the script. Yes, the script should not be first before this. If not, you well, later on with additional JavaScript, it will be a big problem. So that's why this is very important. So just keep it like in this order, this sequence is perfect. So once we have this, Let's put in the remaining things. Let's copy all of this here information here. And this is just for a line chart and we're going to adjust it afterwards. So let's put it in here. And as I told you, we have to put it below the script here. Yes, main reason for this is we need to first read all the commands and then we can put in like this command here. This is like a variable or this is a command in the chart.js library. And if you put this above here then the script can read this command of course first so you need to read that at you need to put this below all right so now we did this let's save this probably we have some fancy design already let's refresh all right let's adjust the color here that's something that i want to adjust first because that's not necessary or at least uh, i don't like the pink that much so let's make it something more uh, exciting uh, let's say zero refresh all right, so you get some nice bluish or marine blue design. Beautiful. Uh, let's save that as well and make it for the line. All right, so we have this now, and we need to have a gauge chart. Of, sorry, gauge chart. So what we have to do is adjusting the codes. Let's adjust the codes here immediately. So when we say my first data set, yeah, that's fine. Type here, what I told you before, it will be donut donut chart so let's refresh all right we have a donut chart but you see we have these colors here if you say I don't like these colors adjust the colors how do you adjust them we need to make this color an array value how do you do that so I'm just going in here we have like this and then of course you can put in all fancy colors here so let's give it some names green comma um, red uh, do we have that everything? Yes, comma. All right, let's see what's going on here. There's some some error errors or trouble here. All right, because we had here no, um, what do you call it? Semicolon. So semicolon. 
uh, is it a single 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 quote sorry all right here yellow comma orange all right so we've got these so i'm gonna focus too much on that because that makes sense so the reason why these are now of course not matching because we don't have any colors for that so we have them well let's to simplify just remove this all right refresh we have our border colors if you don't like these border colors here no problem okay i'm going to remove these as well yes we can match the border color with our current background color how to do that just copy all of this put it in here so because of these brackets we create an array here in javascript so all right though so that works fine this is very beautiful almost done now so what we need to do now is we're going to use some of these advanced features or not really advanced it is slightly more challenging so what we're going to do is we're going to the documentation here and let's search for our pie chart or donut chart so this is really fun i really enjoy this stuff and we're going to look for here is all these data set properties we have here all these data set properties all right but we need the config the config options here and we're going to focus on these two here yes so we have the rotation which indicates the rotation starting point where does it rotate so if you're wondering what does this mean well refresh this you can see here pay attention how it rotates it starts here at the top all right so that's what we need to do we need to adjust that if we're going to make a chart uh, differently a gauge a gauge chart how it starts it starts from here and then we'll end here so it's a halfway so what we need to do more is we need not only that we need to use the circumference the circumference is basically sweeps to allow sweep to allow arcs to cover sounds fancy what it really means is the rotation how far it will rotate and what we want to do is we don't want to rotate it 100 percent or 360 no we want to want, want to rotate it only halfway all right sounds fancy don't worry we go here in the options yes remember this is the options here and then all we do is in the config options here we're going to say we're going to do the circumference first so that will be easier yes and then what we say here because if we read this it says the number enter a number and it's pi multiplied by two yes and what we really want to do is we don't want to multiply by two because a two is an entire circle as you remember here right so this is currently an entire circle we want half so we should multiply this by 0 0.5 yes by default this is 2 so let's put in here number and what we can do is the following we're going to put in this formula and what we do is here is this is the this is the text yes so we say pi multiplied by 1 let's save this and once we did that let's try and see how it works there you are so now our uh, our donut chart is only halfway perfect now of course let's move this down here and remember what it was we have in mind a 0 0.5 so let's play around with that for the rotation to figure out how do we get it from minus from wherever it's right now to here down so we need to go more to the west so the west point is the starting point and then we should only uh, be rotating halfway so we go in here rotation add up the rotation here comma here at the end rotation and then let's get the formula here this is the formula minus so let's play around with that and see if we can say what it is so we have this let's say instead of minus we do 0 0.5 so it's not negative but positive all right you can see here we're now on the other side we're halfway so maybe maybe one only let's refresh here and there you are so that's it that's basically what you have to do and now you have this wonderful this is basically the gauge chart and you say well should there be a needle yes but you have to design the needle as well so you can do that probably with of course with canvas with the canvas commands yes so it's possible but you need to be a bit more aware of how to use that what we can do here right now because i do not like this arc is way too big so we're going to make it a narrow arc yes so how do we do that cut out percentage cut out percentage default 50 let's put this here comma enter this and then we say here let's make this 10. i have no idea how big that will be probably will be very narrow and that's exactly what we want oh sorry you can see here the cut out is focused on the on the the empty space so that means we need to not make this 10 we want to make this 90 
to make this more bigger and there you are beautiful so this is how you can create a nice gauge chart very quickly with chart.js you would say well is this in the out of the box like what we had here on the list not 100 percent but if you would say to it well if you have to adjust only two items it is so easy so is it i sincerely believe and if you see this chart to be honest you're right on many new chart libraries that are also very interesting but chart.js is still one of my favorites so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, try to explore it as well and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below